Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Hmm? Ninja. You're going? Okay, So here's really where the helium matter happens because now we have the opportunity to either check out like a normal booking site or use the LinkedIn login. So let's log in via LinkedIn. First of all, let's thank the demo gods and also let's enter our budget for this flight because this is of course a business flight so our company pays for it. Let's say 800 euros. <laughs> so now actually our algorithms get to work and they know which people shared their LinkedIn profile and are in the business lounge at the same time. But let's first of all, let's choose a seating. So here we see all the people on the plane that chose to share their profiles with us and anonymous users. Now let's just take the recommended seat right next to Santa Claus. <laughs> it's going to cost a little extra, but it's worth it. And let's add the lounge access as well. And while we're at it, why not use also the fast track ticket? Because our pass data actually indicates that we will have to wait a long, long time. So now we of course also have the option to look at the services that are provided uh, via the NDC auxiliaries MP API, and these uh, auxiliaries, of course, are chosen based on our peer group. So let's just choose, uh, wait, let's just check out. So now we'll be asked to confirm it, and here we're checked out. So let's take a look, quick look at our uh, at the platform that provides the data. So here we can see what data or what flights have been operated by other people, our recommended system. Sorry for that, but um, yeah, this is our. Wait, wait, we will sit there. We will sit there. Uh, uh, next to our fans, they are there. They are there. Yeah, they will go uh, join and we will uh, sit there. So, jury, no questions? At the end. Don't you want to sit? Questions from the jury? I mean, no question. Is there any questions? Only for business class? No, it's not only for business class. So um, the, the sample was now business class. It is as well for economy class. Um, I mean, for economy class, it might be even more helpful because normally you want to sit in the front, but maybe two rows behind you, there's a really interesting person you might want to meet because there's some business opportunity for the future. So, of course, it's useful for the economy class. Um, how do you make money out of it? Um, so, our money, our business model is uh, driven by a percentage or commission by the states we are enabling through our platform. So, as I said, we are a white label platform. So, um, we dock, like we um, connect with the check in of the airline and provide the um, airline additional revenue and we get a percentage of it. We provide the restaurants at the airport additional revenue because they can sell for the people going on the flight and get a commission out there as well. Um, we see a huge potential in that. So, um, we believe that our business model, like as we calculated, is uh, totally fine. Thank you. 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 you. Thank you. for the next presentation. So again, you have four minutes. So probably you have to go very brief before the introductions and go straight to the demos. Yes, the second one, yeah. So while we're connecting, can you please let us know the API or data sources that we're using for these projects? Good luck for our group, yes. 
But the API providers, you are using. Great. Americanized and Gmail, and your check your SOBI is MTC. Yeah, great. So that's the moment we all expect because all hackathons you have, normally you have technical issues. Why you solve that? You have Mr. Claude Muller. Mr. Claude Muller. Because it's very important that Mr. Muller does a joke here. Your own joke. A technical joke, not me. Come on, Brian. Yes, okay. David. Okay, no jokes. So, probably, we did a test before. We were here at 1 30, we were doing the test, but. Ah, you had another laptop. So, what I suggest, if you don't mind, to get another other laptop which we tested before? Yeah, great. So, we're gonna call now, uh, if you don't mind, to collect your seats. And um, fork or forge? <laughs> 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 Okay. I don't speak French, sorry. Mon français est terrible, désolé. Tu as dit une So, F O C H. So, while we're connecting, uh, let us know the data or API provided. Yeah, we are doing the data challenge. Ah, data challenge? Yeah, with uh, uh, the APOSC data high school data. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready to go? Good. So, we start now. Okay. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, uh, today we are doing a data challenge. And what we have as data is the uh, EATA. A uh, packs the data, which is a passenger level order data that we can have uh, uh, each passenger. They order uh, uh, what airlines do with uh, uh, with the what kind of the prices. Uh, so uh, we try to give some business insight for maybe uh, the French based airlines uh, from this uh, French uh, airline based uh, data set. So um, we uh, in, in our days, a, um, the airlines is not only a transport a provider, but also value creators a, with many uh, business communities, unkind communities, and we um, a, in the data side we choose the air friends uh, as our target, and we uh, <coughs> separate the uh, internal uh, transport in France. And international airlines. Uh, what we are showing is really international uh, 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 transport network. Uh, we try to get some visualization and uh, quantitative result. First one is that um, yeah. If first time that maybe in our head we say that um, uh, what is the most important airport for uh, French based airlines. Uh, we, we may say it's the uh, uh, de Gaulle, or maybe it's the uh, Audi Airport. That is the uh, uh, transport uh, network structure. But if we see a little bit uh, more about the uh, money, about the cash flow uh, structure, uh, we, we, we see that um, many uh, center or uh, their community, they, they, they disappear. There's just the Charles de Gaulle and some um, uh, Asia Islands uh, communities uh, in, in the net. So uh, we, uh, that is the uh, uh, visualization structure we want to show, is that the uh, marketing structure we concern and the uh, transport structure we concern, they are not actually the same things. And so uh, to have more uh, 
uh, used for information for particular airlines for their strate uh, strategies in marketing, uh, we can give some quantitative results. So uh, that is the result of the uh, passenger uh, volume based uh, airport uh, ranking. And we try to see which is the most important airport. And we see that uh, it is true that uh, my uh, European uh, airport are most important uh, uh, in terms of the uh, passenger volumes. But if we choose more about the uh, um, cash flow uh, aspect, we see that the uh, many Asia airport catch up. It may uh, imply that ooh, maybe we should have more uh, Asian employees, or maybe we should encourage more French students uh, learn Chinese, maybe. Uh, <laughs> so um, I think uh, as a conclusion, um, what we want to show today is that uh, maybe we should have a second thinking of the data structure uh, we concern. And maybe uh, uh, as the uh, airline is no longer just uh, transport providers, uh, maybe more uh, um, value-based structures should attract our attention. Thanks very much. Any questions? Ready? If it's not ready, please, I, uh, guys, for next time, is a project, is a name project, and it's very difficult. Ayatayai. Ayatayai? Is that correct? So, I power B. Please make your way downstairs, please. So, you're you are on your own, right? So, I'm going to hold the mic for you. And while you're connecting, if you can kindly let us know. <laughs> so this is again iat.ai iati. I'm gonna ask you why we're connecting. Yeah. Which API providers are using? Airlines. <laughs> so I'm using the 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 airlines um, API and uh, as well um, AT people. As well. um, for the example, I'm going to show Airfnos, but uh, we've tried with Air Canada and American Airlines. We also be the NDC challenge. So, we can have a chair. Sure. So, and I'm also going to ask me, Matt Duff, to make your way downstairs, please. That's right. I can do it for you. So, check the battery. Ready? Okay. So, um, the challenge wasn't so much a technical challenge because I spent uh, the whole weekend talking with the airlines and uh, I I've seen that they already have beautiful products and uh, on their website they are all trying to give the, the passenger the best experience possible. So for example, um, United Airlines already have uh, an artificial intelligence trying to push uh, downloads so that they can upsell based upon the frequent traveler history that the, the passenger has. And uh, I talked as well with um, Finer and they already have a messenger bot so that the, the, the customer can directly interact with um, within Facebook. But unfortunately, their passengers and their customers are not on those platforms. In emerging countries, for example, most of them use WeChat in, in uh, China or Viber in West Africa, so they don't have the same experience. They, that's the reason why they use Google and, um, 
they can benefit from the same uh, UX as the as you can on uh, the the website on, or on the app. So the challenge was to try to give the same information, no matter the channel you're using, within three click, being able to make a choice and then interact more with the airline company if um, you want to, to give or get more information. I can hold the mic for you. Yeah. Okay, so starting with um, Hello, the, the artificial the, the interface is supposed to recognize you and uh, just ask you one uh, capital information is the place where you want to go. So let's say, for example, MRS for Marseille. So what just happened is that it's gonna check one flight, um, not like not a list of tens of uh, not tens of flights, but just one. Suggest you this flight, give you details, and ask you if you want to confirm this flight or if you want to give more information. Then based upon that, you can say, okay, the nearest airport is not the one I'm leaving from, or I want to give more information, like my frequent travel card, etc. But um, so it's going to get this information on uh, uh, an API, and it's going to check on other APIs such as Atypico if uh, details about the baggage allowance, or um, it's going to, going to propose you as well up sales if possible. So instead of choosing just one API, it's going to check within multiple APIs and give you the best information possible. And then if you have nothing to change within just the, the third one, you can ask to proceed and go directly on the, um, the, the website so that um, you can buy your ticket, confirm it, and uh, just leave. So within three clicks, just an easy user experience, being able, no matter the channel you use, to buy your ticket and go directly to your destination. So I didn't have time to work on the user interface, unfortunately. That's the reason why we're just showing a link, but it's possible to choose whatever interface that you want. You can use it within Fiber, within Alexa, within Cortana, or uh, a website, and whatever channel you're using, no matter where you are, it's exactly the, the very same user experience. Thank you. Yeah, uh, good question. I Maybe mean, I missed it, but uh, you mentioned that uh, you know the uh, the flight is returned uh, just based on uh, you providing destination, and it's only one flight. Now, on which basis would you recommend that particular flight? Well, in the morning or in the afternoon or during the day? I mean, is there any logic behind it or? Yes, definitely. Um, so the basic version is just based upon. The, the, the first choice that Google API is going to send back because they're going to they have they're going to check flights based upon the the, the price based upon the the, the hour etc. And the business model can be if one particular airline wants to use another model which is different from the lower uh, price or wants to give you information based upon your frequent traveler number for example they can pay so that you implement a particular. Uh, I'll read them for them. Um, would you capture the user preferences within your tool, or you be taking this from the airline's uh, API? Sorry? Would know. you be capturing the user preferences, like I don't like uh, stop on flights, or I want direct flights um, yourself, or? The first one is neutral, and the second one, uh, uh, the second possibility, <laughs> as I just said, is that the airline transportation companies can pay so that they can push their own preferences. For example, as I mentioned, United Airlines, I realized that they have an intelligent, an artificial intelligence pushing information based upon um, how good they know the client. So they only have a lot of data on the client and they can give, they can push information based upon the way they, they want the client to buy. Great, thank you.
<laughs> so you guys at PowerMe, uh, which you guys, you guys are using? We use the Finger API uh, and also data from Let's see it. So let's get connected. Great. Everybody. Yeah. So good luck, and we start now. So we are the startup at Harvey, and our idea is to create a, a, an a eBay like reverse eBay like marketplace to connect travelers and airlines directly. Uh, in this way, we would love to create better traveling experience uh, by um, travelers getting personalized offers from airlines that exist only because of the value of the profile for the airlines. And also for the airlines to get access to real-time market demand uh, so they can optimize their products using data uh, from the market and also the possibility to <coughs> programmatically create uh, ancillary offers for the um, customers based on their profile using the data. So the solution has two parts. It's a mobile app that the purpose is to be the inter interface for the traveler and also gamify the creation of user profiles. More data they add to their profile, the chance of getting better offers from the airlines increases. So as a traveler, uh, I, no matter if I'm a business traveler or private traveler, I create my personal profile and uh, I create a wish to travel to a specific region. I want to go to Africa next summer, doesn't matter exactly where, but based on the offers I get from airlines, I will choose or based on a budget, uh, or based in a time frame, or based on my interests. I want to go kite surfing, I want to play golf. It doesn't matter, I go to Sri Lanka or to Morocco. I pick my uh, basically the, um, flight based on the, Z, the offers I get from the airlines. So um, the, the, the data we get about creating a wish uh, will be sent using the uh, API um, to the to the aggregator in NEC platform. And uh, at the same time, airlines create their profiles. I want to target expats. I want to target people who are about to get to Europe because after two years, they will be one, more than one ticket. I want to target seniors because suddenly they will get a lot of time and money to travel. So they create their uh, target groups and you, the, in the aggregator level, the target, um, the, the wish for and profile from the traveler will be matched uh, programmatically with the, uh, the, with the campaign and profile from the airline. And if the traveler falls into the segmentation that the airline has defined, we pick up the similar profiles uh, and this is where we use uh, constant data to pick up a similar uh, profile from the uh, other passengers and see what kind of ancillaries they were interested to and to uh, make an offer to uh, based on this data uh, about uh, different uh, ancillaries. So if uh, I'm a... <laughs> Yeah, but maybe you can go to the vendor side. So the vendor side, the airline uh, could see, uh, based on the data we collect from the uh, wishes for travelers, the real-time demand in the market. There are 1,000 people in Oslo that they want to go for Christmas to uh, ice climbing in Alaska. So this is a strong signal based on data to tell airlines how they should optimize their products. And also, the, we have the part that they can create uh, their profiles and their um, target group that can be matched using the aggregator layer uh, with the wishes from travelers. So the idea is to um, the idea is to gamify this. Uh, traveling is something that has um, people are passionate about. So if I can create a wish for traveling, and if I can. <laughs> And if I can browse other uh, uh, people's wishes, then I can join their wishes and get more bargaining power to our events. So, do you remember? Any question? Um, how was the commercialization around this? Uh, how, do you, how do you guys make money off this? Well, um, 
well, our approach is basically Tesla like. <laughs> so we create um, a useful solution and we create it up. But um, like the other people said, there's possibility because we're reducing the cost of customer acquisition for the airlines by creating this direct channel to our travelers. So we, uh, are, we should create more uh, transactions and we are able to monetize uh, based on our transaction that we create. And also, uh, and also we can also provide airlines an opportunity to, to uh, mix and match ancillaries and upsell the users directly. Uh, so only you only charge for no pay, no cure, no cure, no pay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you sure the customer are going to put all this information? Well, we try to gamify that. So basically, if you log in and you're from our flag, you create an offer, which you have the screen for. You sort of get a, get the initial offer, and then you get a little little little, little um, a field that says if you add more information, you can get more personalized offer. Again, the idea is to drive prices down. I think is to mix and match and delivery to you know, raise engagement for the user and the airline as well. Great. All right. Yeah. Uh, also, one last thing that the users that the that the segmentation that the user that the airline defines is where how how they define the offer is going to pitch. They're going to get they're going to feel to use. So, Matt, is that correct? Yeah, I'm gonna call Smart Trip to come forward, please. So, if you can tell about it, guys. Okay, so, we work with uh, NBC, JetBlue, and Panera. Uh, on CETA, we work on the. Uh... Okay, so on CETA, we worked on, uh, on the weather, well, actually, he did. Uh, he worked on the weather API, on the airport info, uh, boarding pass, airport distance, all that thing. Then, well, he also took care of LinkedIn. Um, we have another guy who took care of 30k. Uh, he took care of Google Places, because he wanted to. And so, he also downloaded a lot of information from everywhere in the world uh, about Flux, because he, 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 he was really wanting to show you what you're used to in the demo. And, okay. <laughs> Um, this is an actual LinkedIn profile, by the way. So we created this profile just for you. So Billy Duck is going to go on a trip, and let's go that trip. Well, you know, we have to make the episode different. All right. <laughs> now, um, thanks. <laughs> now, uh, well, this trip is quite empty at the moment. As I said, I want to travel with friends, so I'm going to add a friend in there. So as you can see, I have a lot of friends. Uh, I'm going to select 50 and go and travel with it. Still nothing in there because I didn't input any data as of now, but well, I already did, did my booking before because we're not a booking assistant, we're a travel assistant, so I'm going to use order retrieve uh, on my order ID in order to get uh, the order information. As you know, this can take some time, so meanwhile, I'm going to go to Fifi and Fifi is going to log in into his uh, application. So this is Fifi's site. He also uses LinkedIn, because I find not, and uh, Fifi Duck is here. All right, so Fifi was invited into the Decathlon uh, trip, so he already sees that. And what we're going to do now is he's going to input also the booking information he has. So he's going to input the order ID. There, I shouldn't mess up. Let's see, it's, uh, yeah, this one. All right. So, while this one goes on, I'm going to show you here. This is the results we get. Uh, so this is basically standard travel assistant set, you know, with nothing really new in there. As you can see, you know when, when I'm going to leave, I mean, when the baby is going to leave, uh, where I'm going, going to go. Uh, we get uh, from CITAS API some, uh, some information as well, um, like uh, well, the boarding pass API. We get from 30k the mines. I mean, a lot of stuff, but quite classic. But still, we get a notification there, as you see. 
Well, this simplification is the fact that phi push term uh, some endpoint there. Let's see. If I if I just look at the trip again, well, I get some new information. I have still my information, but I can see that Fifi is going to, to join me here in Boston, which is great. And I even get some information from local places telling me, well, you could go there to have a look. All right. Um, what I want to do is I want to just plug it together, so let's click there. And uh, we're going to book seats together. The application immediately finds seats for us. So it finds us 6E and 6F, so I'm going to book them directly there. So I'm the one paying for them. So yeah, I hope it's going to be happy. Um, we have seat 6E for me, and if I go on his booking and have a look, you're going to see that he has six, uh, seat 6F now. All right, that's nice, but since I paid for him, maybe he could pay for me something too. We have other ancillaries in there. Uh, as you can see, we have a bag, we have a FastPass API, uh, in FastPass, and um, we have, uh, I don't even remember, if I take it in the eye, right, 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 right. So FastPass, let's see. Um, he can decide whether to skip the line with his friends or with me, which would be nice. How he can decide to make me wait. Let's just say that he's nice and he's booking this for me too. So he just booked it and I get a new notification. Yay! Uh, so the notification tells me that now I have fast pass on my trip. If I go there and have a look at the trip where uh, the, the flight we're taking together, I did have fast pass. He also does it have fast pass because he, he's nice, but I mean, he books also for me. All right, now that we've seen all of that, uh, let's continue. And, uh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Question. Um, how do you get users on this app? Well, I personally want to do it. Uh, because, <laughs> <laughs> for instance, well, for instance when, when we came, uh, all the three of us came, came here uh, on different trips, and I have no memory at all, like absolutely no memory. So I can tell you it was pain for them to tell me, yeah, yeah, no, I'm coming on that day at that time. I can't even tell you when they were coming because I already forgot. So it's a, it's a great thing to have all this information at one place uh, and to, like, say, uh, to, to know when they are coming and where. But, okay, uh, what makes you different from another app like TripIt or even App in the Air, for example? Because you can share uh, still trips on it. And Absolutely, um, yeah, you can share this information, but um, the other users have to input it with, uh, with um, quite, quite harder way. What we did is we used the other way to it, uh, in order to input the information immediately there. Also, um, we tried to be smart about the way we display this thing, meaning that we didn't want um, to display all of the trip information from the others. As you can see, uh, well, well, right here, um, I, I don't see Fifi's trips. I mean, he, he's apparently taking a trip from Buffalo to Boston, but we're not displaying it. I don't care about that. I just care that he's coming to Boston, and from there I need to know where he's going with me, but that's it. So. Great, thank you. So it's Mark Trip. The next to come for us is Smart Trip and then also Trip Composer. Please come forward, please. Hello guys, how are you? Tired? Good. So if you can tell about the APIs and challenge. The API that we are using is LinkedIn, yeah. Air France and the uh, two GK and for challenges, thematic uh, blockchain. Okay, challenges. So this data and this data and MTC. Great. So let's see what. Good. I asked you to do that. So before you come on stage, so please connect to Wi-Fi, right, please. It was on purpose. I asked them to do that. So. <laughs> While he's connecting, just to let you know as well that while we are doing the deliberation, Mark and myself, we're gonna have surprises for you. Okay? Great. Ready? Who's, who's speaking? You? You may not start. Okay, so hello everyone. I'm here today to change your point of view about uh, uh, 
Step over. So uh, Smart Trip is a platform that can allow you to extend your flight in order to attend an event or to visit a country. Uh, as I said before, it's based on four aspects like uh, your budget, your itinerary, your flexibility, and uh, your center of interest. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much, I'm going to go directly to uh, the thing of this smart one. Uh, this is our first page, it's a login page where you can sign in with LinkedIn or Facebook using EVA or authentication. You could also sign in with your email. Uh, or you could just skip directly to the search, but I recommend that people register so we can uh, have some information so they don't get uh, to enter it each time they go there. Uh, can we skip to this, please? This is the main interface that we use. Uh, as you see, they are asking us for a departure. Uh, we're gonna choose uh, Nice. In France, uh, going to Nolinski in Finland. Uh, I'm <laughs> uh, gonna choose a date. Uh, we have flexibility, which means that I'm not, I have no pressure. I can arrive on my destination after four or five days. I, I just want to make a trip before I go home or uh, to go to my destination. I have a budget. Uh, we have a center of interest. We put only four uh, main center of interest, but we could have more. Uh, just check all of them, sport, music, business, and culture. Uh, we have nationality. Uh, we use the thematic auto check so we can say if the, the person is in need of a visa or is his passport is valid or not. Uh, we have also a cool option which is matching. Uh, if you select to activate matching, we can see if there is other people that share the same itinerary or they have the same uh, ex uh, travel experience. So we can match them together and maybe they can stay together and share uh, information and share the trip. Uh, go ahead, activate it and click on search. So here we generate a lot of smart itinerary. Uh, you can see some small icon, you're gonna wonder what's that. It's like, uh, the pole is like for sport, the bank like for business. Uh, it shows, uh, like for example, when I go to Madrid. Or just choose the first one, please. Yeah, here you can just do like, for example, go with Finer and then go with Air France. Or just choose the first one. Uh, for example, Nice and Paris. Here you find information like the price, how many miles you can uh, you get get using the game of TK. The event, for example, there is a game, uh, there is a, a hackathon. Uh, the event could be uh, uh, printed by the EPA or Facebook. We also provide uh, links to hotels and then uh, information about the, the trip. And the visa, for example, is not required because it's in your. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> reserve it. So uh, when you make when you click on reserve, your reservation is confirmed. And for example, congratulations, you have a match. It means there is someone who had the same who had the same idea to make the same trip, and you both are fly, flying in the same uh, flight. So maybe you guys get uh, the same uh, uh, next to each other and share this trip together. So this is what concerns our demo. Our application, our application is not limited to that. So we could be became an aggregator, or uh, I don't know. We could compare this to direct flight because sometimes this is more cheap than going directly from one point to another. Sometimes you make a step over, take a hotel. It's the same price or less. So that's our idea. Thank you for uh, your time. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, for other folks that may be on the same trip, I suppose they have to be okay to share that. that you That's know, why you activated at the first main interface. It's not right. right. Yeah. Okay. Because you need to to accept it. Because we know some people try prefer to travel alone. You know? That's a choice. You should just disactivate matching system, and you're gonna be alone. Oh, no one gonna bother you. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what is happening uh, while you're cool. in Sabona? Like, for example, you had a uh, football game and a uh, and hackathon. It's, how, how do you it's the EPA from Facebook that provide event. So normally, we're, we're thinking about bringing the event and the link of, of the event. Everyone has Facebook. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot use the EPA of LinkedIn because it doesn't provide event. We want to ask a professional event, but we can't. So we go for Facebook. 
Okay, so it, it means that to use your app, I need to Facebook login. There's no. No, other no, you don't need. It's us that go and look for event in Facebook for you. You're not obliged to use your app. And okay, so Facebook. Facebook can ask. Yeah, you could just search, use the application without even signing. Thank you. So now we're gonna I'm gonna strip composer. Strip composer here. Yeah, yeah. Here? Okay, great. How are you? Are you now on your own? Yeah. So do you need me to hold the mic? Okay, so which API provide a uh, API or data source? So uh, yeah, we used API and we were able to connect to Chronos by Hayata. And the challenge is NDC. Yeah, I'm sorry. So. A second, please. I guess it's very good to wait. With the help of the industry to do standards. Let's do standards for connection for laptops, please. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, great, guys. so, may I start? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great. So, guys, I will show you how can you improve your multi city experience for airlines and for users. So, here you see uh, our website. And I will plan a very simple multi-city trip from Paris to Munich, then to Berlin, and then back to Paris. It's quite simple. So I just entered cities, uh, entered a one-week vacation, okay, Polish traveler, one traveler in one room, that's okay. Economy class of transportation and accommodation options like three hotel, uh, three-star hotels premium level, etc. It's clear. Then I just click plan and it starts calculation. So here you see we won't wait all calculations to happen. So I'll just open you already uh, already ready to use book. So currently you see uh, the current version of interface. It was developed for B2C uh, meta search version and here you can see a six ready to book trips. You can see accommodation prices, uh, the total transportation price, and you can easily select any other flight. So you see Kronos Airlines by IETA, it costs 50 euros, and all other options also cost 50 euros, so I can select whatever 50 euros I want. And <laughs> yeah, so. The same about hotels. So you can see an ordinary listing page here. You can see various options. It could be all inventory. And the next, I'll show you how it could look at airline website. So the airline could use it to bundle a multi-city package first. So here you can control the total price. So the user won't see uh, which percentage of your margin is cut off. So you can uh, show the miles which can be earned from this trip by airline. Uh, you can suggest some additional auxiliaries, for example, like package offer. So you can offer me a discount on package, for example, or upgrade me for a uh, business class. Uh, and I will save 200 euros if I book it uh, without the package. So what's more? What's more is that you can also use our multimodal interface to upsell me a transfer to the airport. So currently NDC does not support a specific landing feature, but our tool can provide you that opportunity to integrate any transfers you want. So <clears throat> our tool is multimodal and totally flexible. So thanks for your attention. It's clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Question. 
Um, depending on the package you pick, is there any possibility uh, after you've selected the package to upsell or offer? Because you take the, uh, in the meta model, you would have a lot of uh, you know, things kind of stripped out. Uh, if you change, choose the economy package, can you push users' offers then to say, can you upgrade? Uh, so uh, you can put any business logic you want, in fact. So using this interface, it's just a new UX to bundle all auxiliary transportation and accommodation into one useful interface. It could be used either by travel agent on back office, or it could be a P2C feature on your airline website. So it's totally possible to upsell anything. It can be packaged uh, in seconds, literally in seconds. Yeah. How, how the accommodations are selected? Because there are many choices. So as I saw you, you just navigate inside, select another hotel, and the package will be dynamically updated with the total price. Is it clear, or I should tell you? <laughs> I'll show you in a second. So. Uh, here see the accommodation, the selected option, then I select another one. Uh, How did you select the hotels? Uh, I just uh, do listing page, click select, and it's updated in my total... Uh, no, it's, sorry, I didn't get the question. How did you get this list of hotels? Oh, currently they are powered by our partners. Uh, they have came from third party idea. Thank you. Thank you. So then, uh, Flipsy, the gentlemen here are only to help the lady because she's alone, right? Okay, great. And uh, I'm gonna ask Universal Order to make our way. Thank you. And also, maybe to last after that. While you're connecting. You can tell us about your APIs and... So, uh, I'll be solving only the data challenge and uh, not the NPC. And uh, the APIs that I've used are uh, mainly of IBM. I used the um, software, uh, like the one which is used to make apps and which is used to... Uh... So, I, I have a slide on that. Great. You may start now. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, I'm Asta Sharma. I'm a graduate student uh, at IFP school. And uh, my app name is called uh, TripSync. So it is an app which is used to transfer points from one member to other and sync data of different airlines loyalty and miles program. So it could be a community of people who are having the same program that your miles expire and then you can actually trade it. So there is an audio. This is uh, my uh, teammate Ivar and uh, apparently uh, He's not here, so I just have a message from him. Hello everyone, I'm, I'm the developer and I have worked with Asa on this innovative idea of TripSync. After talking to all the airplanes like present at Hackathon 2017, we realized that we are facing the problem of revenue block. To understand it better, we used IATA PACS datasets, which gave us the data pattern to help us streamline this business intelligence service too. Utilize data of JR technologies to identify the loyal program for passengers and their behavior. Now, Asta will explain you how we developed this innovative idea from scratch. I hope you can forgive me for not being here. And uh, cheers, everyone. So, um, the next slide. So, the aim is, uh, I was, as I was telling you, that it's data challenge. We are showcasing the how the data can be valuable asset in health and revenue and enhance the customer experience. So the methods of booking that usually we have are these three, that you can do a guest login, uh, through airline login, or through travel agencies, which is a little complicated. I'm going to show you the interface later on. So these are the data collection that I did, like great help from the API and database from the following. So we use constants, IBM, LinkedIn, and also the uh, we use the patterns that we uh, require for uh, getting the making, making the database actually. So this is the database creation. If you click on it, uh, you can go back. So maybe we'll do it later. 
And uh, this is the data modification that we used. We used automated identification system to create a data architecture. And therefore, later on, I had to work all night to do that on Python script because we were all sick. And thereafter, yeah, this is the architecture that we worked on. And the data model helps in understanding how that uh, uh, the data connected and the other data process. So there's, there's not only data that we are handling, there is da uh, data about data, which is called metadata. So we have to take care of that also. So the assembly using IBM Bluemix API, we have used this uh, to create an interface, which I'll be showing it to you. The potential business, as everyone has been asking, like how can you make money out of it? So as you see that it's going to attract more people because it will be a word of mouth. I will tell my friends, hey, I have like 500 miles. You can use it, but I'll have to take your miles. So it'll be like a trading. And uh, what's in it, that it attracts new travelers. It makes use of business intelligence mock services <laughs> like travelers behavior and habits. You can do that because I worked on it. And there's redundancies in the data. So this is what the past problems have been. And the pawning system, so sometimes what people do it, uh, they make like seven Gmail accounts, and then they start uh, like acquiring uh, different, different miles, so they just use it, and it's like of, of cheating the system. So that's really good. So the int intensity of loyalty program is because Asia has the largest population, I would say, because I'm an Indian myself. So uh, there is a huge demand of this app, I would say. And there is uh, Europe also. We have around 2 million people who can actually use this app. So we did some statistic and analysis, which can talk about that. So questions. <laughs> So, I have one question. Why would the uh, company agree? The airline company agree? Company agree? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah so the point is, I, I think like, this question will come up. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the word document that uh, we need to have a lot of information that these are the actual loyalty programs that are there. And uh, you need to share the knowledge and share the wealth because uh, when you are dealing with data, it's very difficult uh, because uh, uh, like I would contact airlines, I would not make the database myself. I would be contacting Air France, Air India and other things. So if I show you uh, once, I think you'll understand it a little better. Mm. Okay, this is the extras. Yeah, so you sign up with Facebook or you can sign up like making your own account. Like this is Asta Sharma, this is my email ID. And if I want the notifications or not, I can select. Then after that, uh, it's going to ask if I want to see my password or not. Then uh, you can actually select uh, that, okay, I have uh, British Airways points, which I want to trade for Air France points. So you could do that. So if that makes sense. Uh, second question. Yes. You know that the process of transferring miles from uh, a user to another user takes well, I can tell you, for example, for Air France, it's it's done manually. So how do you manage that? Because it can it, it can it can take at least two weeks for the points to be transferred. And if the companies, uh, if the airline agree uh, to for, for to for the miles to be transferred that way using your your system, how do you manage that? Yeah, so uh, it'll be like uh, if we start working next month, it'll take six months to create a database first because we have to contact the airlines. As you say, I'll be contacting Air France first because they do it manually, they don't have an automated system. Then I'll contact Air, Air India, like Air Canada and other companies. And uh, first, my first and foremost priority would be to create a database, after which I'll do the data architecture and the programming will be later in the later stages. So, universal, universal order. Hola, Lucas. So, hi everybody. Uh, we are uh, we are challenging the MDC challenge uh, for customer experience. And we've been using the Yata Kronos Sandbox solution. Right. 
guys can be seen. There's nothing in the top of this here. Hi, we are at Universal Order and we're going to show you our solution for ordering on the blockchain. So, this is how it's going to go. We found the problem, we found when something goes wrong is a mess. How to buy a new ticket with my cryptos. Our solution, a demo, the scope and the team. Next slide. So this is what happens when everything goes wrong. This is a cancellation. No one's like that. We don't like it, Ella not like it. Next slide. Uh, uh, for the friction that it generates to get a refund, a whole industry has worked. We have a lot of new startups that are helping people like me to get my refund. Another one, and another one. No ones, I think you don't like those guys. So what we saw, what our solution is uh, to ordering on the blockchain with a smart contract. What is a smart contract? It's just a set of rules that get automatically executed on the blockchain, which is a safe network. So, uh, next slide. This is an example of what is happening today. There is a Finnair client that gets more than a month to get their refund. I guess that she is not a good experience. And uh, what we are proposing is a frictionless, claim-free instant uh, refund. So how it works is the demo time. So what we're going to show you is a contract, a smart contract that we are writing right now. For example, for a rule, if cancelled, then total refund. Sounds like a real nice rule, right? So we create the contract and, uh, okay, then, okay, so we can, this is a, just a contract, but you can do whatever you want. So right now we're going to show you how it works for a passenger. He asked for a disponibility to the airline, to his API. We got a response. The API responds that it's okay, there's a disponibility. This is working right now online. Uh, we push the order on the blockchain, on a, a blockchain, a real blockchain, a real smart contract. Uh, so this is the console. This is not what users see. We, this is not happening, but basically, what we are is posting the offer on the blockchain, so we will see that the passenger gets deduced of the amount of the uh, ticket. It was uh, two euros, I guess, uh, two Ethereum, which is 600 euros today. So now we're gonna see how it went, what, what, what happens when the airline has a problem, there's a cancellation, so automatic refund. Whatever it takes, uh, uh, it's okay, if you already got the refund, is it okay? So we are asking for a refund. We are artificially saying that the airline had a problem. It may happen sometimes. Uh, so this is a, tra a transaction with the blockchain when we say there is a cancellation and then the automatic refund. And we'll see that the passenger will have his money back. Uh, there you go. He has his money back. Uh, So what we are showing you is, uh, next slide, the advantages, of course, for a passenger is immediate treatment, uh, no time, no, no, no time wasted, no energy wasted, no hate for airline, as it works automatically. Personal experience for the airline, of course, is innovative, great value, uh, less resources on the refund team, and uh, of course, in the ground control, everything happens much, much better. So, to enlarge the scope, we think we can apply all these financials to the uh, whole uh, bigger structure. Today, we show you direct passenger to our line, but we can work with travel agency and also interline transaction, where the smart contract that you can write as an airline uh, is uh, specified to the situation. This is our team with three. We have skills and experience to delivering, we, and this is our proposal. Thank you. Okay, one, one quick question. Yes. I, I hope it doesn't only work with the bitcoins, whatever currency, uh, but also with real credit cards and other money. Right? Well, today, we, uh, what we coded for 24 hours, it works for uh, the whole crypto economy, which today worth $170 billion. Uh, no one is accepting it right now, so it's a good idea to accept those. Uh, but yes, of course, there is exchanges and there is a solution for translating money into cryptocurrency. Any other questions?
more questions about the smart contract, the rules. It's, it's, it's a real smart contract. Uh, we can strike a real smart contract on a, a test blockchain. It's not a, it's not a Bitcoin blockchain, it's not a Ethereum blockchain, but it's a blockchain test that is working. And uh, well, it's a real blockchain. It's not just the keyword, it's a real blockchain. Thank you. Well done, guys. <laughs> So next one to come is Limitless. Hello, how are you? I'm gonna ask Hacky here to make her way. Thank you. So while you're connected, can you let us know about your API? So we're gonna be using the JR technologies. Uh, we're gonna be using the JR technologies API and we're doing the data challenge. So imagine you're someone with reduced mobility so you book a flight ticket from Paris to Beijing. So you go on one of the one of the apps like Skyscanner or even one of the amazing amazing apps that someone else is building here. And you realize and you go through all these steps, you pay at the end your credit card, only to realize that the wheelchair you are carrying won't be able to fit in a particular aircraft. That is very frustrating, and that's the problem we're aiming to solve. Now, before we go on to the live demo, let me just demonstrate to you why um, people with special needs is such an important but under uh, overtapped, uh, undertapped but overlooked uh, demographic. According to uh, statistics, statistics from the United States Bureau of Transport, there's actually 3.5 million people in the United States with a disability. That is roughly one in five people. So that is a significant demographic in the United States and I'm sure around the world. 12% um, of people with disabilities actually encounter problems when they're traveling versus only 3% in the general population. So also we found a similar trend when we look at the data from JR Technology. So we looked into the data of customers with special needs and we extracted some data relevant and we break it down into four major categories. They are traveling with animals, they have and economy minors, when they're traveling with disability or they're carrying excessive luggage, which can include like sports facility or musical instruments. So how to capture all these needs? And that's what we're introducing to you, Limitless, and that is our app. So we all know, even when we talk about special needs, when you feel kind of special and you know it's gonna pose some barrier to you, no matter if you move around or if it is travel around. So Limitless is to break this hurdle and bring you everywhere make your flights so much easier. So first, at first glance, you can either log in or log out here, but also if you don't want to, you can just browse as a visitor. We're providing four types of services. The first one is if you have a certain kind of disability. The second one, if you are pregnant or maybe you have a minor traveling along. The third one, if you have some animals to carry. And the last one, we're still adding more features. So now let's pay attention to what will happen if you have certain kind of disability and you are using our app. First, you can input the exact number of wheelchairs you're carrying and also different categories. And also you can choose some details, for instance, if you're traveling alone or not, and also if you need assistance on assistive device on board. So, and then you will put in some, real, some very basic information that you use for every flight booking. But then when we click go, here's the magic. So first, let's, let's see, there are two offers of iFrames. If you click on the first one, you'll get the info. And first we see, it says, you have all flight wheelchair for this flight. And that's exactly what you picked, because you said, oh, I need this all flight wheelchair to visit washroom. So the second one, there's no actual transportation costs. And this is what we calculated based on the number of wheelchairs, manual and electronic, that you are carrying. So this is a tailor made for you, and you can get all the information that are most relevant before making the booking. And now let's move on to United. So for this one, we see that United has some certain regulations on battery. So if you want to know more, just click here, and we will direct you to the company homepage. And to move on, we also see Finnair. Why we only have one option here? Because for Finnair, they only offer, the, they only offer all flight wheelchair on certain aircrafts, so we'll only match you with the aircrafts that offer the service that you exactly need. So this can avoid you from all the troubles that my friend just mentioned earlier. We're also, we also think it's, it's useful to partner up with some companies such as Uber, Urban Series, or even one of the sponsors here, App in the Air, or even Booking.com, just for us 
um, to offer reduced prices for a lot of the customers, as well as better enhanced services. You also have a personal page where you can modify your personal information. Um, the, the only um, thing I would see is uh, if you're not going out to the uh, airlines to get an inventory check on some of those, because uh, some of those would be inventory controlled, uh, they could be showing you something that they may not be able to actually book if they, if they go through. Are you checking inventory? I think eventually, if this is going to this is going to be a, a real app, we're going to have to partner up with airlines as well to uh, implement that function. No more questions. No more questions. So, hacking there. So, hacking there. Uh, our colleagues, uh, the second team that was Iro Foods, do you remember? Iro Foods, the second team, they're still having issues with the laptop. So, happy there is going to be the last in for the groups to present as individuals. Uh, or are you gonna be ready just after them? Are yeah, yeah. oh, gonna be ready right after them? Okay, so you're gonna have happy there, and then you're gonna have our foods, and they're gonna be done with individuals, and you're gonna start with corporates. Okay. So if you can tell us about your API and uh, challenge we're solving. So uh, our challenge is the NDC challenge, and uh, we we'll use the Google API. The NGC also with uh, Athens API and uh, Finair, and uh, from for data we use uh, Geo Technologies and uh, Yadat Synergy. Great. And are you ready? Yeah. And so we we'll start. Good luck. So uh, our problem we wanted to focus on business travelers that wanted to uh, make a business trip abroad. So what's the problem we focus on? We have a lot of offers today from many providers. And it's really a headache to book a business trip. So it's time consuming, it's repetitive, uh, manuals are always, uh, you need to do a lot of uh, interactions and there is no personalization. So what we offer, uh, we have a simple application that will offer personalized door-to-door -door bundles. Uh, it will be directly integrated in your business calendar and it will then fit your time constraints and this will create a fast and user-friendly experience. So now let's go to the demo. So it's time for the demo. I will show you how we can book in a few seconds a business trip. So you just have to sing, sing in on our app with your Google account. And now we have your agenda. And on my agenda, as you can see, I have a meeting in Barcelona. So I want to go there and I want to book uh, a trip to go there. I just have to click on my meeting. And we wait a few seconds, and after that, we have three offers that allow me to go to Barcelona. If I want to see the first one, I just have to click on it, and then I display it directly on my agenda. I bundle all the offers for the customer. I offer, for example, a flight with Air France, but not only the flight, also the, the subway ticket from your home to uh, the airport, and from the airport to your meeting point. And, for example, on this one, we offer you a Uber uh, partner if you want to travel from your house to the help of a Uber. Uh, we base this um, offer based on the, the, how do you say that, the, the profile of the customer. We have, the, the customer can uh, set a profile if you want to travel in business or in economy. And we also set a profile for the loyalty because the, the company can say, okay, uh, with this specific person, uh, with this specific type of customer, you can travel in business or economy. And for example, if I want to go, uh, and I have another meeting, for example, in, um, in uh, Helsinki, because I want to meet uh, Santa in a uh, sauna party, so I just have to book, click here, and I will have my new offer with uh, an hotel, because the flight of uh, Finnair is not fitting uh, on my agenda with the meeting, so I have uh, the Uber, my flight, the, the hotel, and we book also the hotel. And after that, I say, okay, this offer is enough for me, I just have to click on book now. And now we have the booking, and we, you receive the invoice directly on your smartphone and your uh, email box. And if we want to personalize the customer experiences, for example, if I go uh, in Barcelona, 
am uh, a mill here because we propose a mill for this and we also display the information from the company so it's really important uh, for the customer experience. And we also integrate the API of IATA in order to provide information on the destination. For example, for the visa information, for this destination it's not required, but for some other it can be. So it allows the customer to have a, a very uh, important information in, in one screen. So the idea of our application was to um, was to display in one screen all the information. And we also have the path trip of the customer because our algorithm is also based on the previous choice of the customer. And we try to learn about the choice and make a better choice, make, uh, make a better proposition each time. What if I didn't, um, uh, forgot to uh, register my uh, meeting on the calendar? Is there any other entry point to get uh, those uh, uh, flight, flight plans? Today, today it's only based on the, the meeting, but tomorrow, yes, you can select uh, directly on, the, on this agenda uh, a date from, from 10 to 11, from 10 to, I don't know, a 12 and, uh, select and put a place and we will provide you uh, an offer directly based on that. Uh, what would happen if the nearest airport's a couple hundred kilometers away, for example? Is there something that comes back saying you may need another port or type of transportation in the middle? Yeah, the idea is really to integrate also. Uh, if you are uh, very far from the airport, you can also integrate the train from, the, from your, your home to the airport. Really to integrate all the, it's a door-to-door -door application. The idea is really to integrate all the all the transportation that we can have. And if, for example, if you want to go to London and the train is better than the, the plane, we will propose the train, for example. Well done. So now we're gonna have the last but not least. Aero Food, that's a presentation for individuals, Aero Foods. Shake them louder than you now, eh? Hi, how are you? So, why are you connect? Can you let us know about the API provider? The API provider is a marketing Yeah. And Great, so yeah, this will be the easy challenge. Great, thank you. So let's see if it works now. I'm, I'm just saying I'm louder than you, the mic. Hope you not open this. Good. So which you like to first use this one? Okay, so let me know when, when you're ready. Uh, okay, yes, true. Uh, so we're gonna start with corporate shows after that. So the next one to come uh, for it's bits and bytes. Bits and bytes, you can make your way forward. Thank, thank you. Ready? Okay. So I don't have any jokes, Mark. Mark, do any jokes? Oh, really? You never did a joke in a hackathon. <laughs> I am not good at jokes. <laughs> I have a one. Claude, what's the difference between business and leisure travel? Very good question. What's your answer? <laughs> your Wife is controlling both of them. You're approving of both of them. Yeah, exactly. She's approving my business travel. Funny thoughts. Thanks, thanks for having me. So they're ready. So let's start now. Hi guys. Um, do you like sushi? Yeah. How about uh, if you want to have sushi in your next flight? Most of them going back tonight or tomorrow. So let's have a make a booking with a sushi on board. Maybe from your favorite restaurant. Okay, 
let's give it then another chance. So which, which laptop can I do? I mean, you wanted to show this yeah. one for a while. Uh, of course. Okay, let's reset that tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So we can use that. Good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> You guys are still hungry for sushi, yeah? yeah. I don't have another two, sorry. <laughs> okay, so what can tell more, Marta? That uh, we have eight winners of Twitter competition, and they are both corporates, individuals, and sponsors. Oh, yes, even sponsors. So, right? Okay, so let's start now. Uh, Maria, how we stop it? Okay, let's go. Yeah, so uh, let's start with some basic booking from American Airlines. Uh, just, you just have your uh, Gmail account and anything just to register. And just sign in, I'll register. 